It was time for the big ring of fire, so we hit the road and drove to Mount Shasta. The Park Service had it all, the eclipse, the transit of Venus, even the Mayan calendar end of the world on the solstice. Telescope Row had really cool equipment, lots of great stuff. It was cool, but what I was interested in is the amateur stuff, the homemade stuff. Hey, I'm Don McCullough, and I'm here at Whiskey Town Lake up in near Redding, California for the annular eclipse on May 20th, 2012. And I've focused on all the fun homemade observing equipment. This was my favorite with the dog right over there. And uh, thanks for all the stuff you did. I'm going to now post all the pictures. Thanks and bye. Seeing the eclipse could be really as simple as lacing your fingers and casting a shadow on a rock. Or sitting underneath a tree with a, something else to catch the images. But lots of people built pinhole cameras, this one from recycled material. Here's one with rubber bands, tape, and a cool kid. Lots of kids. Here's the biggest pinhole camera. Huge. Three pinholes and three images. Some people did some fun stuff with their pinhole cameras. A couple of good thoughts there. The ranger showed how it all worked with a yardstick and a couple of globes. Some guys had to use duct tape and cardboard to be able to see their instruments or calibrate them. But lots of people just taped the filters over the front of their cameras. Worked pretty good. I love this one with the tin foil. Other folks made their telescopes. Look at this beauty. Pure wood. Just lovely. And people figured out how to project the images with telescopes and binoculars. This guy was telling everybody how it worked and projecting into a box. We could see sunspots. Very cool. They all had to deal with the heat along with the sun. Here's a plastic funnel and a piece of cloth to get the projection. And here's the dog with the bowl and the mirror, the lens, the dog, and the projection screen. Very cool. But my favorite was the Brainiac alien mask. Bet he had fun. And then it was time for the show, The Ring of Fire. Just amazing. Lots of pictures of the projections. And here's what we all saw through our filtered glasses, the ring of fire in the sky. And then it was time to go home. Bye.